Okay, so I just got back from the NARBC 2019, the fall one, um, and there's a huge mess on my kitchen floor, my new kitchen floor. Um, I knocked some mail on the floor while I was putting some of my stuff here, and you know, I just kind of dumped all my crap that I got from the show. Um, plus, I just moved in here a few weeks ago, and I'm not completely done unpacking this evidence by that tote over there. And, some of this stuff, but you know, my cat likes a new place. Um, I can keep her away from my reptiles. I've managed to keep them safe. That's another video though. Okay, so we are going to start out. Um, I saw this kit, Timberline's Table had this. Um, it's a super worm kit, and then when I bought it, they gave me a couple boxes full of super worms. I was originally gonna do mealworms, but I can somehow successfully breed super worms in here. That's great. Um, it's really great during the winter when we have especially cold winters and it's difficult to ship in bulk any kind of feeders and maybe it's too cold or too icy to go to the shows. You know, you go to the pet stores, it's really expensive. They often don't have a whole lot in stock. But yeah, they always give out free boxes of stuff and if they have a lot left over, they'll let you take a second one. But it was very nice of them to give me these two boxes. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a couple of those crickets in there are already dead. But the others look okay. They might have drowned on some of the watery food because crickets are very stupid. And, you know, if you drop a single drop of water, they'll find themselves a way to drown in it. Um, I have, I'll have to look up who I got this from, because I used my card. Um, got a thousand five eight in, inch crickets, so a nice big feast. Um, always get to stock up while you're there. Um, the people I got it from, they were really nice. Uh, they were, when you first go into the big room and you turn to the right and walk down the front and then turn down the very last aisle, they were the people the first bug people on that area. Um, I got a few more things from them. Let's see. Got a hornworm pod with big hornworms. So lots of happy and full lizards tonight. And we'll tomorrow. Um, got a smaller pod of 25 small hornworms. This is a good investment. Um, these guys are already bigger than they were Saturday when I picked them up. Uh, yeah, it's like, you can get a pot of 25 small ones whenever you've got people selling them, and it only takes a couple weeks and they'll be full-sized. So that's a good thing. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, I got some soldier fly larvae, um, which will be really good for many babies. It's good for the baby. Well, it's good for everything for because they're very high in calcium. Um, but I also got that from them. And my cat is on the table. She's not hurting anything. She's kind of realized that she shouldn't. Um, I also like the Pangea rep reptile a couple times. And um, I love going to them. Um, I mainly, every time I go to Tinley Park, and I always get something from Pangea, something from Josh's Frog, something from Triple L, and something from Reptile Basic. I always, I order from them online a lot, but it's nice to kind of go there in person and pick stuff up. And if you'll notice, all these guys are in containers. Whenever I go and I'm staying for the whole weekend, I don't really like keeping my new lizards in the deli cups. And that is because you can easily bump into something, hurt your lizard. Sometimes they're kind of small. I kind of feel bad about them being in something that small when I'm there the whole weekend. Um, it just makes me feel safer. And you get a really good deal from all the places that, you know, again, Reptile Basics, Triple L Reptile, Josh's Frogs, and Pangea. They will all in, let's see, here's the little logo for Reptile Basics. They give you a nice tote bag. Um, these actually help me carry my books when I move because it was easier to put them in these than it was to try and put them in a giant box and try and haul them. Um, there's Triple L. 
got a nice tote bag from them. And again, Pangea, I don't have one from Josh's Frogs right now, but I think I've got one somewhere, but I like to, I order from them a lot um, because they get really good deals. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I did get these cups for like the crusty Super Crusty. Got the mix in there. So, the nice bowl thing that I'll still have It's my MCT oil. Didn't get that at the show, but that's something else. Uh, my dog's poop bag. Kind of put that in there. Let's see. It's one of my. Okay. So, uh, what else? Okay, so I got these Ruffy Sun Balls, just because we need them. Uh, this one, it's a new, I like these kind of T8 UVV bulbs. The light just looks really clean. Um, I got one of those lamps. Um, these are from my Melamine Pages. These ones are here. This one's kind of, I got it very specifically for some others. But I put it over my tank when I'm traveling, when we do pet expos or zoo weekends. Um, picked up some sphagnum moss at Pangea. You get it for literally half of what they sell it for at places like PetSmart and Pet Supplies Plus. Um, so I got this big old bag for seven bucks. And this is great if you have anyone who's having trouble shedding. I've had leopard geckos who just couldn't shed no matter what. Put a little sphagnum moss and they shed. So that was good. And then, uh, I've also used it to help keep up humidity in chameleon cages. Like I'll take an old container, you know, one of the plastic ones that perhaps had some bugs in it and then that has holes in it like this and you kind of put it in the corner and it slowly releases or, you know, maybe this. Um, got 150 small dubias and then 100 medium. I'm gonna try and start a new colony. I can't remember the name of the guy I bought these from. I wish I did. Um, he was one of the vendors who kind of got screwed because there was an overflow in vendors this year. So some people, I was volunteering at the Herbine game with the Michigan Society of Herpetology. Um, but some people kind of got shoved into overflow rooms so they kind of lost out on that exposure. But I got these from one of the side vendors. They were in the next room over from us. Um, yeah, I wish I, I'll have to look on my bank account to see who they were, or maybe I paid them in cash, I don't remember. Uh, but, yeah, I think a lot of the vendors are really good in those side rooms, and they just didn't get this, the exposure they deserve at these shows. But these guys, some of them are going to start a colony, some of them will go directly into the bellies of my bearded dragons. We'll find out. But I've got this big old box, and I can start to get a colony, which... Just like with the super worms and the meal worms, it'll be good during the winter. Okay, let's see. What else do I, whoops, oh, I'm making a mess. Um, let's see. Got yeah, a captive bread food with Dama. This was the thing that originally, I got it from Kix Balls. Um, they were selling a few other things other than ball pythons. Uh, so we will start with them. Uh, before I go to that, um, I bought some things at uh, the auction this year. They had a silent auction. Like, I won this. Uh, yeah, they wrote the total of what we... So I bid $47 on the snake, and I bid $5 on the book. Um, so I won this book about chameleons. I don't have any chameleons at the moment, but I like to get... I have, like, three or four books, and I like to read up on them a lot. Uh, there's a lot of different opinions. So this is a brand new... And I like it. Okay, I think that might be a jewel chameleon on the front, but I'll have to look it up. Okay, and then this is my first ball python. My mom and my brother have a lot of them, but I didn't have one yet, so I decided to kind of bid on this guy. And we can, he, he's really nice. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep him because I'm, you know, trying to think about feeding mice will kind of be an extra thing, but. I like them so far and I'm kind of starting to get attached so I might I'll either keep them or I'll trade them in for a gecko because that's my thing but I'm, I'm taking a week to consider it but I bid on him and I won him at the U.S. Arc Silent Auction um, I love his like, facial expressions and his eyes and 
he's a nice guy. Um, I'm not a he. I like other people's snakes, but I'm not a huge snake person myself. But ball pythons are the ones I recommend for people who are terrified of snakes. Uh, they're kind of the teddy bears of snakes. But this guy, uh, yeah, he was donated by Fox Valley Reptile, male, lesser, pastel, pet for clown. Um, Fox Valley Reptile produced him. Um, oh yeah, this is another thing. So when I was in the room, got this Birds and Beasts pet store. We'll give them a little shout out. They deserve to make more than they did, but they were one that people kind of shoved in the room. They we're giving out these free samples. The stuff is apparently big in Japan. And I guess it's going to become available in the Midwest soon. But the new Beer of the Dragon that I got really like this. Um, so I guess it's supposed to make their poop stink less. Um, this is another, uh, this woman, she does a lot of really good artwork. So we'll give her a little shout out to the two people who will watch this video. I saw some of her stuff, it was really nice. Um, didn't buy anything from these people this time, but I probably will at some point or order from them online when I have more money, but they have all, a lot of the kinds of geckos. They have a lot of geckos from Australia and New Caledonia. So they have a lot of stuff I'm interested in keeping. Uh, these guys, I think I'm going to buy a Chihuahua from them when I'm a little bit uh, more financially stable. Okay, so we will go on. Yes. Okay, so we got candy crusted and more. I got a fat tail gecko for from her, and this is it. Normal head Zulu, fifty percent head caramel, purine straight Zulu, fat caramel female, normal head Zulu. So yeah, I like the Zulu color more. So I'm kind of hoping to. I guess we will. Got to fat her up. Maybe around 2021 I'll breed her because it looks like she's about six months old now. But I like the stripes down her back and I like kind of the bold coloring and she's got a nice temperament. That's from Candy Crested and more. She was very nice. Um, you can tell she kind of has an attachment to her animals. Uh, this other leopard gecko I got from Derek DeMeyer. This, she's not hugely fond of being held, so I'm going to have to... I'm not sure what this color morph is. Some kind of albino, I imagine. But I like this coloring, but I'll have to... I might, I might email Garrick to Meyer and ask. Uh, that was one of his specials. I always buy something from him because he's always got some good deals. Um, but And then my brother got one that looks exactly like this, and it's probably for Clutch Mate. But yeah, she's real nice. Um, yeah. JMG's also one that I get from. This one's a Het Zulu. Um, kind of a young baby, but it's got a stripe. I got from JMG. I always get some from them. Uh, that one I'm going to have to really fatten up. So yeah, it's probably going to be 20, 20. Uh, I don't know if this is a male or female, but I hope it's a male. If it's a female, I'll just get another male that's het for Zulu, or, you know, if I'm lucky enough, I'll get a Zulu. Um, this little guy I picked up from somebody who's kind of just getting into herpetology, but got it from Big Daddy Gecko. They were right next to us in the room that we were in. These guys I also got from Garrett DeMeyer. Um, I love that really bold tangerine color. This one's kind of some type of albino. Um, I need to look at the deli cup and see what I got. Because what this morph was, they listed it. Um, and let's see what we got here. This I got from Tony Collison. Um, 
he runs the Kalamazoo show. He's running, there's a two-day expo that he's running near Grand Rapids, Michigan in January. Um, I got the poster for that somewhere, but on for it's a female captive bred Nigerian or Saharan, whatever. Sometimes they're called Nigerian, sometimes they're called Saharan, but she's definitely got a very Euromastic like temperament. She'll be very active all of a sudden. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? This is a female beardy. I'm not sure. Looks like it might be some kind of daughter. Um, or it's just kind of a nice brightly colored one, but yeah. got her from Evan Stahl. Um, I like kind of the contrastiness on her back. But she's pretty nice. There's a cat trying to get up here again. She likes to snuggle here, the dragon, so but I'm going to be careful with that. ones that I got. Um, I have to find the business card. This is a little Rankin's dragon I got. Um, I had a couple Rankin's dragons for about six years and they were nice pets. I kind of miss them. They died of old age. Uh, I'm gonna find out, I'm gonna wait till this one's big enough to find out whether it's a male or female. Then kind of get a companion. Um, I got this from Fairy Tale Dragons LLC. Uh, she had a lot of nice beardies, too. Uh, but I can tell that this one's going to have a lot of personality the way it was acting over the weekend. <laughs> kind of curious about things. Um, this is a little baby paint of the gamma. I think it might be in shed, but I'm guessing this is going to be a male, but it's hard to tell at this age. But it's kind of got that lighter coloring and the bluish thing on the back. <laughs> That's usually what the males have. Got this from Kicks Balls. So I had a few other things, you know, other than other than ball pythons. Um, yeah, I love these guys. They're, they're sometimes called the poor man's green dragon, but they're all like pain of the gamas or clown the gamas. Um, but they definitely they have a couple. Some people have adult imported ones. But I wanted to get some captive bread. Maybe set this down for a second. Yeah, your hands are warm, so they want to hang on to. Let's get one more in here. hanging off the side. I have a little panic attack. Uh, this was the first lizard that I bought. Uh, picture up Friday. Let's see. Yeah, she was from Pets Plus Reptile and Exotic Pets. Yeah, I've seen the guy there before. Um, he had a couple imported adults. But she, yeah, you had a group of little captive, they weren't captive bred, but they were captive hatched. So I got one because I really like these guys. But this one kind of has like, I mean, I guess this one's a female and the other one's a male, but we'll know for sure when they get a little bit older. Because she's kind of got the darkest color and just has the orange along her back instead of like with the blue neon stripes along her back, like the males have. Okay. That is what I picked up. I'm slowly 
rebuilding my collection. So we'll see what happens, but it's kind of, I was going to just maybe buy one or two or just buy supplies, but then I heard Tom and Donna say, treat yourself. So yeah, okay. And probably when I get my new reptile room, like right now all the cages are kind of set up so that my reptiles all have heat and light, but I've got a big old pile of my supplies sitting in the middle of the new reptile room. So once I get that all sorted out, I might do a new video of everything I've got right now. Okay, that's it.